Listen, Witcher. There are some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none other comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. Rurik, right? Heard you were on a boat the drowners attacked. Aye, I was. With Ulf, my cousin, gathering our crab traps off the Kjerrig cliffs. Ulf was pulling up a line, having a hard time of it. You know, grand, I thought. Cage has got to be full, it'll be a good haul. Then something tugged back and down. Weren't a blink and Ulf was underwater. Called after him once, twice, thrice. Then the water went red with blood. I smelt something horrid. Rotten, but worse. And the moir Diablin flipped the boat. Don't even know how I made it ashore. Must have had Freyr watching over me. That, or the monsters had eaten their fill. Thanks for the story. One wreck after another for fucking bad. Uncle said folk on the continent got heads like cats. What do you want from me? Are you Tove? I was told drowners killed your husband. Then you were told right. First the sea took my son, and now my man. I'm the only one left. Kevilla, our son. He went out fishing and didn't come back. My man would walk out to the Kierak Cliffs every day to watch for his boat. I told him he cannot bring him back to life, and that he could die himself. We'd heard about drowners, but he couldn't sit still donned his old coat and went. One night, he didn't come home. I fetched me brother, grabbed a torch and we went looking for him. The Muera Diablin. Sea fiends. They clawed him so bad, I only knew him by his coat. Small comfort, I know. But the drowner problem will soon end. I promise you that. Farewell. Drowners, for sure. Lair must be nearby.
That stench again. Slime and rotting flesh. Human bones. Unbroken, but the marrow's been sucked out. Need a long, thin tongue for that. Lair, but definitely not a drowner's. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled, almost untouched, hidden for later. Drowners just don't do that. Bruises on his neck, crushed larynx, strangled. Bits of boats, torn sails, lines. Sailing decor, you could call it. That stench, the marks on the bodies. This must be a water hag's lair. Got a keen sense of smell. She won't come back while I'm here, unless... She coexists with drowners. Maybe I could make an extract from their glands cover up my scent. Job's done. Here's the proof. Now why would I want to see... What the devil's that? Water hag. An old, clever one. She was the danger. Seen a lot of ugly critters in my life. 
Moorays, lampreys, blobfish, but never nothing like this. Your award. Well earned, Witcher. Well earned. Thanks. So long. Hi. Will you want sail on the Jarl's longboat? Silver ears from where the man in need. What is it? You rather one stricken. Most humbly beg your pardon, but I'm in quite a predicament. See, I'm I'm a wandering juggler from occupied Tamaria and Tamaria? You sure? Not in Novigrad. What? Why Novigrad? No, no, I come from Maribor and uh... You're not cut out for this line of work. Memory's too short. See, we've met. But you were a respected Novigrad merchant who wanted desperately to get home. Oh, but, but I assure you, I... All right, all, all right, you got me. I, I know this all looks bad, but I, I swear I, I'll pay you back, mate. All of it, with, with interest. Just, please, don't, don't take me to the yard. Definitely won't get my coin back if I turn you in. But try to cheat me again, and I'll find you. I'll find you, and I'll... Yeah, I ain't lying. Besides, you can go to the yard any time you want. Then I expect to see you later. Later, you know what Don't wave at a bug. Oh! Line! Mind if I interrupt? Nay. My prayers are in vain anyways. Here you're having trouble with a curse. Aye. I am. Look. See it lying there. A horse head on the pole. That's... A nithing. Kind of curse. Seen this before. They're nothing to scoff at. Can bring misfortune. Even death. Aye. And the name carved upon it is Tialva. My firstborn! Boy's feverish. Grows weaker by the day. I fear I'll bury him before the next moon. Tried to lift the curse myself, but... No luck. I can help you. One of two ways. First, I can try to convince whoever put up the nithing to lift the curse themselves. Second, I can deflect the curse back on whoever cast it by writing their name on the shaft. Either way, need to know who's behind this. But I don't trouble no one. Don't know a soul who'd wish it upon me. Mm hmm. Guess I gotta investigate. A nithing. A powerful curse. Name carved on the shaft. Tialva, son of Lothar, trails fresh. I want to look around some. What is this? Woman's shawl. Distinctive pattern. Distinctive smell. Sense. Any chance you know who wore this shawl? Of course. Yona, our herbalist, lives there, in that hut. Oh, she'll be pleased you found it for her. Yeah, real pleased. Found your shawl. Near Lothar's house, by the nithing you put up there. How did you know? Had a hunch. Thanks for confirming it. You know Tjalva's got one foot in the grave. Good. That bastard should never have been born. Me, I was to be Lothar's bride, but he cast me aside for that flounder. Getting his comeuppance now. Him and that whole plowing family. You'd kill a child out of jealousy? Are you serious? It is not jealousy, but dignity that matters here. Ten years we lived side by side. Ten years I cooked for him, washed his breeches, shared me bed. 
and he abandoned me with nary a word. The whole village laughed. Stupid bent Yona let herself be had. No, I have not been had, nor have I forgot. Want you to lift the curse. I mean it. Fine, I'll do it. But I've my terms. Lothar's to renounce his son and come back to me. I'll be sure to tell him. But I think we both know what his answer will be. Type a mile away. Ah. Come on. know who placed the knifing? Old friend of yours, Yona. I might have guessed. Jealous bitch! Can't stand to see others happy. So? Will she lift the curse? Yeah, sure. All you gotta do is renounce your family and go back to her. Nay. Never! My wife. My son. I'd strip them of honor. Condemn them to poverty. You've gotta break the spell, Witcher. Let her die! You might deserve to be punished, but not this way. Fine, I'll do it. Thanks be to the gods. Don't bring the gods into it. This is between two human beings. There's truth to that blather, by the ice. So? Did it work? It did. Your son should recover soon. And Yona will die. Thanks, Witcher. A thousand times over. My son's dearest of all to me. I couldn't abide it if he'd died. Your reward. Will you eat with us before moving onward? No. Not in the mood. I'm a simple chap. Hey there. Let's talk about my... It's a lot. Where should I look for your son? East of here. It's the ruins of the fortress. He went there with some rogues from Pharaoh. Met him at the tavern. They filled his head with nonsense about some treasure. I said, Sonny, Pharaoh folk are liars to a man. You shouldn't fraternize with him. But he knew better. How'll I recognize him? All I know is he doesn't listen to his father. Pretty typical for his age. His name's Olve. A cheerful lad. A bit of a lisp. Nothing special about his looks. Except last I saw him he was wearing a yellow tunic. Lovely. None other like it in the village. Got it from me a year back, on his birthday. That ought to do it. I'll look around. No promises, though. Fang and claw wounds all over the body. But those indicate feeding. He died from a blow to the head. Thank <laughs> you. 
ran off to its lair to lick its wounds. Need to track it down. Need only the entrails. Fussy. No Ove here. Maybe the fiend dragged him off. to the other side. this time.
Yellow tunic. Must be Ove. Avenged those boys. There's that at least. Greetings. Any tidings? Bad ones. Your son's dead. Killed by a fiend. All I could do was avenge him. I told him, son, nothing good ever came out of Pharaoh. Stay home. Your time will yet come for adventures and glory. Your reward. This gold brought me no luck. May it serve you better. Taverns of Bozabite.